So my wife and I were both born and raised in New York City, uh, raised Roman Catholic, did uh, 13 years of Catholic school, very plugged into the church there. My father was a deacon and church was like family for us back then. In 2004, we relocated to Texas, just looking for a change of pace, change of life. We had three young sons and it's, a, it's hard to raise a family in New York City. And we struggled for a while. We tried a bunch of different churches, really couldn't find any place that felt like home until we found Fellowship of the Parks in 2010. Just after one or two services, we felt that our kids were getting more out of the experience. And one of the things I loved was having a pastor who had three young sons of his own. I really felt like I could relate. And sometimes I felt like he was talking directly to me when he was delivering the message. And so we kept attending for, for a little while and then decided we wanted to try to get more out of it. Uh, so we went to a starting point class and, um, and there is where we learned about small groups. And so we decided to join a small group and it was Chris Robertson's small group. And so we met some really amazing people there, but again, still wanted more. And so we were trying to find another way to get plugged in, but I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Um, I'm, I'm a bit of an introvert and that's when Tim Henderson was the one who said to me, well, you should try a media team because it's all behind the scenes and you get to sit in the back and nobody even knows you're there, but you can still have an impact on people. So I decided to give it a try and loved it right away. Met a you know, great group of people who really make you feel at home. Again, that was what it was all about for us, was finding a, a home. When I first started, I was working um, lower thirds, right? So putting the lyrics up on the screen underneath the video. And sometimes you sit there and that's all you're doing is just hitting the space bar and you feel like, what am I really doing? Am I, am I really having an impact? It's a small thing. But then when you look at all of those little small things add up to create the whole experience. And so all of us kind of coming together and working together as a unit, that communication um, really helped make that experience for people. So even though each one of us may have only been doing a small thing, put all together, it was pretty amazing stuff that we were doing. Now I'm a video director. So they trust me to sit there with what we call mashing the buttons. And so it's a lot of fun because you get to try to be creative. Um, and so what we do is we, we sit back there, we have the big control board and we've got lots of different cameras and all the different video feeds coming in. And we're always, you know, especially during worship, looking for that perfect shot that really can convey the message that's coming through in the song, um, trying to find that emotion, I mean, the, the movement, the pushes and the pulls and the pans. And the more we do it, the more we experiment as the team continues to develop. It just gets more and more involved. And again, you feel like you're, you're being more part of that experience. It's not static, it's a very dynamic thing. Um, and when it works and we finish the day and we all just sit back and say, man, that was amazing. You can really feel it. And a lot of times you can see it in the congregation. You can look around and see how people are so into the worship, so into the movement. They don't even know you're there. And that's what you want, right? You want it to just be seamless for them. Don't make excuses, come down, get involved, whether it's a media team or anything else, and find something you love. And if you try the first thing and it doesn't work, try something else, because you will find some place where, where you're gonna be able to make a difference.